Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video on my channel. Today we are actually working on the tank once again, and as you guys can see, we still have the engine. Now this thing is way, way, way too big for a tank. I would say that we should actually have put like some of the smaller engines together. So we're going to use the smaller cylinders and stuff like that to actually make a like a smaller engine, but with a lot more cylinders than this has, because this has got eight. I feel like we... Some tanks did actually have eight cylinders in World War II, but um, I feel like we need more than that. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go ahead and uh, attach some fuel to this thing. We're also going to try and work out some tracks and see if we can actually get a tank moving. Um, we're just going to do the tracks without the actual body pieces and we'll see if we can actually use this engine. I think we will be able to, but I'm not entirely sure if we will. So we'll see. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and actually work this out to begin with, and I think the way that we are going to do this is, essentially, we're just going to go ahead and attach some pieces. We need some, like, fluid ports in order to actually make the engine work, so we're going to go ahead and put these guys on the exhaust ports that we currently have, which are those ones right there, and essentially all we're going to do is this. Bam! Alright, cool. So what this is going to do is this is actually going to allow us to have a fuel tank right there on top of the engine, uh, and it's actually going to be pretty large, so I actually like the idea of that, so that's pretty good. We're actually going to go ahead and delete these things. They were good for looks, but honestly, we don't need them, so we're going to get rid of those. Uh, I don't know whether it's actually watertight to leave the engine like that, so we're not going to. Uh, instead, we're actually going to go ahead and delete all of these guys, and we're going to go ahead and replace it with these guys, because honestly, uh, that will allow it to be waterproof, and uh, that's good. That's a good thing for our tank. So, if we go ahead and we do something like this on the roof, let's go ahead and put this down, like so, and seal all that up. So essentially, we've got our engine inside of there. All we've got to do now is put in some things. <laughs> we got to put in some things. Alright, so, we need a fluid. We need a fluid meter. Okay, that's going to be the first thing right there. We need a fluid spawner, which is going to be this right here. That's going to go in there like that. And we're going to have two separate fuel tanks, as you guys can already see. Uh, and then, obviously, we need a fuel port, so we can actually, uh, yeah, get the fuel in there. Or get the fuel out of there. So, pipe. Let's go ahead and pipe ourselves up to the engine. There we go. Go ahead and grab this guy and whack it on there. And voila! That should actually be pretty good for us. It should work. Okie dokie, so with all that being done, I think we actually need to go ahead and start with the tracks. So, essentially the way the tracks are going to go is, well actually, this is the RPS, alright? So, we're going to have to have the tracks pretty much come out, like, here, essentially. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a straight pipe. There we go, we'll do something like that. And I guess we'll just add the tracks to there. So, uh, tank, there we go. We're going to be using the medium ones, and yes, we're having a rear sprocket, which I think is fine, to be totally honest with you guys. I think that's okay. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and add uh, other parts to this as well, because we should. And hopefully that'll all go well as well. Okie dokie, so the way I'm actually going to do this then is we're going to go ahead and add uh, medium rollers as we go forwards. Uh, and this thing is actually going to be pretty long, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this to here. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and measure it. So I want this thing to be about 8 or 9 meters long. It's going to be a big boy. This thing is going to be huge. So it's actually going to be about that long, which is pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and extend this all the way forwards, and we'll add the tracks as we go. So, yeah. I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll put one there. Uh, however many are in between these guys, we'll obviously do it at the front as well. Uh, so that's one of these, essentially, in the middle. So one there means that we need to go about here, I guess. Uh, and then we'll put that there. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and then, honestly, we actually need to lift this up, and we need to put the separate bits in. So... Uh, this bit is going to go down right here, uh, only a little bit, I guess, so something like that, and we'll attach these guys onto there, so this is going to have to go backwards to about this point right here, where it will reattach, okay, excellent, we'll attach these guys as we go as well, because uh, we probably should, and I think that'll be fine, there we go, so if we spawn this in, that's way too big, and they're way too far down, so these guys are actually going to have to go upwards a little bit. Uh, which is going to be tricky. Not going to lie, that is going to be really tricky to do, but there you go. Something like that. Excellent. Let's go ahead and delete all of this framework, because it is useless. 
uh, and delete all of these guys. Excellent. Uh, and then we're going to put these guys back in. So do this all the way backwards to there. Grab one of these again. Put it right there. Um, I think we should actually just go with the bottom, the bottom ones uh, without really taking any notice of the top. Because I think that works. Uh, and we'll do something like that instead. Okay, and that actually, to me, it looks alright. I think this will work. Okie dokie, so this is what we've got. Obviously, this isn't amazing, but it's okay. Because uh, if we add a gearbox uh, to the rear of this, we're going to add a 3x3 gearbox. And we're actually going to go ahead and push it inwards. I think that's okay. Possibly. Pipes. Okay, so on the back of this, we're obviously going to go with a T-piece. Because we need it to go to both sides. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and add a clutch before we do anything else. Uh, right onto there. There we go. Awesome. And we're going to pipe this together. So pipe. We're going to use this pipe to go backwards. We're then actually going to use uh, sealed pipes to go the other way. So that like that. Very good. And then we'll attach that together like so. Okay, excellent. So that is our drive system. Will it work? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea whatsoever. But we'll see. Honestly, as well, uh, as this actually goes forwards in the development of this tank, I think what we'll end up doing is grabbing all of the tracks and actually lifting them up a little bit. Uh, because at the minute, the engine is sticking out at the top and also not really using any of the bottom. So we'll probably lower the engine down by maybe probably one or maybe even two, actually. We'll move this out of the way uh, and then we'll seal it up on the bottom and then it'll sort of fit a lot better with the tracks. So, yeah, but for now, we need to make sure it works. So, yes. That's going to be a tricky thing. It's going to be tricky, but that's okay. Okie dokie. So if you guys are wondering what sort of drive system we're actually going to use on this thing, we need to go to our go-kart uh, in order to actually retrieve, retrieve this guy. So this right here is a microcontroller, uh, which is used to actually steer the tank tracks about. Uh, we've got this so that it works. <laughs> we've got this so that it works. That makes no sense whatsoever. But honestly, we're just going to go ahead and whack this on here. And it's going to be fine. We'll turn it around and we'll literally just smack it right there. Merge it together and we'll uh, we'll connect it all together. So, uh, in order to actually steer this to begin with, we are going to go ahead and attach this like this. And we're going to get ourselves a handle. Uh, and this is how we're going to drive. Seems pretty weird, but it's okay. Don't worry. Throttle lever is the next thing we want. We're only going to do it on one side. Here we go. Delete these guys. And dob this. I'll put this in right here. Excellent. And then the other side, we need a key. Bam. Okie dokie. Awesome. Right. So, with all this actually on here, we need to attach the key to there. We need to attach the throttle input to this guy. Uh, we need a battery, which we don't currently have. Ba 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 ba. Battery. Uh, which we'll actually just whack on the front of the engine for right now. That's fine. Uh, and yeah, we'll attach all of this together and make sure that it works. Attach that to there, to there, to there. To this guy, to these guys, and presumably that'll all be A-OK. -okay. We'll attach this to there as well. That makes sense. Uh, this clutch is always going to be one. So the battery will do that. There we go. Uh, gear switch, we're not going to do that. If we go to this guy, right motor is actually this one. Left motor is this one. Uh, that should be good. A and D is this guy. And WS is this guy. Okay, so in theory, this will all work. Maybe. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and try and drive our tank, shall we? Here we go, let's go ahead and sit in our little thingy -ma bobby. Turn it on. It's on. Drive. Okay, I think we've got enough power. <laughs> I think we've got enough power, guys. Yes! Drive this beast around. Skirt, skirt, skirt. We can actually Tokyo Drift with this guy. Oh my lordy. Okay, right. This tank is going to be fast. Um, It doesn't need to be. Oh my god. Okay, right. We're going to probably slow this thing down to be a little bit more fuel efficient. But it works. It actually drives, uh, which is awesome. I want to see if it can actually get up a hill. Oh, and we should mention as well, with all that being said, uh, that this thing... Although, yes, it is fast, um, there is an issue here. Uh, we're going to be adding a hell of a lot of weight to this thing. We're also going to be adding an armament, so a gun uh, and stuff like that. So we got to be wary of how much weight we put into this thing. Because even though it is super strong right now, when we start adding weight, it might not be as strong. <laughs> uh, right, how is it going up hills? Here we go, let's see. Ready? Go. 
Okay. Um. Alright. Obviously, there's going to be a hell of a lot more weight on this thing, but it is a bit of a monster. Alright, okay. Let's get back down the hill, then. <laughs> let's get back down the hill. Uh, and I think we're good to go, guys. I think this thing is going to be an excellent base for a tank. That is... That's so cool. Look at how fast we go. Meow. I want to know how fast this is, because it's like a missile. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Alright, we need to put a speed sensor on it. I want to see how fast this goes. Speed. Speed sensor. We'll just whack it on right there. Dial. Dial. Here we go. Whack it on right here. And honestly, this thing is going to be... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how fast this thing can travel, but it is too quick. It is too fast. It's not... Yeah, it's too quick. I don't... <laughs> sure, it's fine though, but like it's too quick. Right, here we go. Right, ready? Go. Go. 40, 50, 60 meters per second, 70 meters... 70 meters per second, and we're on fire. Okay, we get up to 70, but I'm, I guarantee it goes quicker than that. That is insane. That's insane. Okay, so just from that, we actually got 156 miles an hour. That is a little bit too quick for a tank. Um, so, yes, we are going to slow this thing down. But honestly, that is... That's super cool. That is super, super cool. Uh, and also, uh, just to, to let you guys know... Uh, we are going to delete these on both sides, obviously. So we're going to delete this on both sides. Uh, because we need to move the tank tracks upwards. So we're essentially just going to go ahead and grab it from here. All the way to this end like this. Grab uh, all of the framework as well, because we should. Uh, and all of these guys, there we go. And we're honestly just going to move it down. So we're going to cut it. Oh, sorry, upwards. To there. We've still got clearance, at least a tiny bit. So that's awesome. We'll take it to the other side. All right, and we'll do exactly the same thing. We need to grab all of this. Lower it down so we grab all of the right stuff. There we go. Cut it. Move it up by two. There we go. Paste it. Merge it back on to there. Merge this back onto there as well. Obviously, we need to put these in properly. So we'll need pipes. Uh, but essentially, what this does is it lowers the center of mass. So this thing essentially can be lower can be lower, which actually means that the center of mass is actually lower as well. Which also then translates to... Um... Whoa. Uh, it translates to it being a little bit easier to handle. And, uh... Better. <laughs> Just all around better, which is awesome. So, there we go. Nice. There is one more thing that I want to do before we actually finish this video. We're going to take it to a runway. And we're going to send it down there and see how fast we can actually get... Well, see how fast we can get it up to. Okie dokie, so this might just be one of the longest or the longest runway in Stormworks. Obviously, we are in the Arctic at the Arctic, uh, whoa, at the Arctic runway. Uh, and we're going to send it down here and see how fast we can make this thing go. All right, ready? Go. All right, so, yeah, 70. We went past 70. All right, 90. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we need to turn a little bit. 91. About 91. About 91, and then it flies. That is actually insane. That is crazy. 91 meters per second. That's not miles an hour. That's meters per second. Okie dokie. So in miles an hour, this thing actually travels at around 200, which is um, way too quick for a tank. But obviously, we are going to add a lot of armor to this thing. Um, we're going to actually use weight blocks as the sidings and stuff like that. So... Yeah, this thing is going to be decent. It's going to be decent. Uh, also, you are not going to see the tracks like this. Uh, we're going to put some armor plate on the outside. So it's going to be even wider, essentially. But that's okay, because we've compensated with the length already. So I think we're good. I think we're good. This is going to be an awesome tank. It's going to be so good. Uh, obviously, on top of that, we need a turret. Uh, and I think the turret we can actually use uh, is not a battle cannon. It's actually probably an artillery gun. So that is going to be awesome, too. Anyway... Let's go ahead and uh, send this thing down there again, and uh, we'll end the video there. But anyway, I want to say thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. And if you guys are, leave a like on the video down below. That'll be awesome. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.